Good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday in the 14th week in Ordinary Time, we're in the book of Hosea, the, the prophet, and we're in chapter 8, verses 4 through 7, and then uh, verses 11 through 13. Thus says the Lord, They made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. They established with silver and gold, they made idols for themselves to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all, destined for the flames, such as the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, molded flesh and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall, he shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, so we have in Hosea sort of these uh, allusions of Israel, as it were, going back to Egypt almost as if saying, we want to be back in the house of bondage again. And the way of going back into the house of bondage is to go back to the foreign gods. All these foreign gods said they allow themselves to be subjugated to. Now, it's just the opposite of what God was trying to do, obviously, when he brought them out of the house of bondage in Egypt to bring them to freedom, freedom, to total freedom. And instead, they were selling themselves uh, with, with these other gods that are there. Now, there's an allusion here also of Jeroboam I, who is a king of Israel, the Ten Tribes, of setting up the golden calves in two cities. I mean, this is just a direct, uh, you know, um, violation of what God wanted. And when they were in the wilderness, as God was leading them to the promised land. And here it's like saying, we want to have the house of bondage all over again. Wow. Isn't that that way in our lives when we don't allow God to be center in our lives? It's as if we're selling ourselves to go into slavery again. Let's ponder that for a bit. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye for now.